everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make this delicious lobster risotto. I'm gonna be honest, I totally improvised this entire recipe. This was my first time making risotto, but it came out really well, and I'm excited to show you how I made it. Let's get started with the video. We're gonna begin by cutting a whole lobster in half. I got this lobster from Publix and they steamed it for me and they even seasoned it. Uh, they asked if I want seasoning first and I was like, yeah! And when I was doing the recipe, I realized it is totally unnecessary to have it seasoned. So uh, don't even bother with that. <laughs> After you finish cutting it open, remove the innards and the lobster meat. Then clean the inside of your lobster shell. You're also going to want to devein and clean your lobster meat. Cut and peel a carrot. Then chop up a tomato and an onion. Set your ingredients to the side. Now we're going to make a lobster stock. In a large pot, pour three cups of water and one cup of dry white wine. Bring it to a boil and then add your lobster shells. Then add your chopped vegetables. Then add one bay leaf, some pepper, a dash of crushed red pepper flakes, a teaspoon of garlic, and some thyme. Reduce to a simmer and then let it cook for 20 minutes. Pour your lobster stock through a fine mesh strainer into a bowl. Set your lobster stock to the side. In a large skillet over medium heat, add one tablespoon of olive oil. Then add two tablespoons of chopped onions. And one teaspoon of minced garlic. Saute for about one to two minutes and then add one and one half cup of arboreal rice. Cook the rice for one to two minutes and then add one fourth cup of dry white wine. And then gradually add one third or half of your lobster stock.
Do this for about 5 minutes until the rice has mostly absorbed the lobster stock. And this is me dumping the rest of the stock in even though I'm not supposed to do that! Which resulted in me having to scoop out all of the broth so I could gradually add it in. The reason why you can't add it all in at once is because you need to give the rice time to absorb the liquids and cook. Which is why you have to gradually add it in and let the rice absorb everything before adding in any more liquid. Alright, now that we have fixed that, gradually add your lobster stock. I used about 3 cups for the entire risotto, and if you run out of lobster stock, you can always use chicken broth. When your risotto is finished cooking, turn off the heat as to not overcook it, and then add 3 tablespoons of butter, chopped lobster meat from before, 4 tablespoons of cream cheese, some pepper, 1 half teaspoon of salt, and about 1 fourths cup to a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Then I added some freshly chopped parsley. The rest of the lobster meat. Onion powder, garlic powder, crushed red pepper flakes, and creole seasoning. Mix everything until well combined. My risotto was looking a bit dry so I added some water. I think about like half a cup or maybe one fourth cup maybe. And that's it! You are all finished with your risotto! And this is how the risotto turned out! It looked super pretty, I gave some to my mom, and she said it tasted better than the lobster thermidor I had made her previously. Which was super shocking to me! You know, I have made this for, uh, I made the risotto for my dad since I made the lobster thermidor for my mom. They both really liked it, and I'm super glad the risotto came out right, because, um, this was my first time making risotto, like, ever. It was also my first time making lobster stock, so that was interesting. Anyway, everything I used in the video will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!